training. I, I mean, I'm, I have a PhD in, in physical biology, and uh, I was working 20 years at different laboratories, and then I spent uh, 13 years uh, teaching about the Mayan calendar, which you know, was not, could not be incorporated into that, my, my previous career. Right. And now I'm, I'm somewhat bringing the two together, and, and it's, it's, I, I enjoy writing this thing, and I, I hope uh, it will be of interest to people. Very interesting. And, uh, you know, where, if we go back to that, uh, that idea again of where we actually are on the calendar right now and when the next, uh, when we're going to enter into the next shift or next phase, if you will, maybe you can, you can uh, lay that out for us, if you will. Yeah, okay. Well, the, the, um, we, we are, uh, we are shifting soon, not, not soon, I should say, it's, uh, uh, the the sixth day, you might say, it starts November 12, 2008, and that's uh, supposedly that then is is a more it's a new period of creativity, um, <clears throat> and especially the kind of creativity that comes out of the 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 right brain half, the holistic thinking of of, of, of human beings, and uh, um, and sort of of course it's it's. So this happens to be curiously related to the um, uh, American election at that particular time. Right, but right. That, that's, um, mm, but anyway, that's sort of a shift point towards, uh, um, I would say, yeah, uh, sort of um, uh, some new opening, I, I, uh, I would think. Um, but I, I sort of also expect, if anything, in the years ahead, some kind of more chaotic. Um, the, the world structure has essentially maintained in itself so far. Yeah. But it's, um, um, but if if something new, really positive, some some new um, unity thinking, some new oneness with with the universe will will emerge. It will have to go through uh, a period of chaos before that. That that opens uh, up uh, uh, the, the space for 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 a new way of relating to the world. And um, I don't know if this particular shift point will will bring that, or if it will come within uh, within the next day even. But but um, uh, my my guess is yes, there will be a significant shift uh, uh, at least on the in terms of the uh, American election and whatever consequences that might have. And they might mm -hmm. be quite significant in, in what it means to the world. Okay, that's very interesting. Yeah, let's keep an eye on that. Do, do, you, uh, do you have any idea of the outcome, just to not, not, I guess, in relation to the Mayan calendar, but uh, for, from your own perspective, from being over there in, in Seattle right now? Well, um, you know, I remember that, uh, you know, that's, you know, of course, the the people that I meet and interact with, they, you know, they they usually are sort of uh, not the uh, rich Republicans, um, but uh, they are uh, more spiritual people. And uh, I remember when I, I was here also in 2004 before uh, the that election, and and people said felt that Bush would definitely be defeated because of all the things he's done and so forth. But right. Uh, that I said, no, he won't. Uh, I just, uh, uh, it, it, it um, you know, he in the in the Mayan calendar perspective, he's 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 the one that is going to to stay. Hmm. Um, so um, I, I um, uh, that's what I think. My my own sense is is that uh, Obama will win this election mm -hmm. um, because he sort of fits more the the. The kind of energy changes that will be coming in, in the in the year uh, year ahead. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, let's keep an uh, keep an eye on that one. Um, what about things like, for instance, new new technology coming in and 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 you know changing things radically? I mean, we could talk about, of course, some kind of genetic manipulation. We can even talk about. Uh, biologic computers. We can even talk about nanotechnology. Is this something that you see on the horizon that that might potentially and radically change the way the human beings uh, live in our even our industries and and things like this? Yes, but I'm 
I'm not a person that is qualified to speak about it more than anybody else, so to speak. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's my answer to that. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let, let's begin to round things up here, Carl, and, and uh, I definitely want to, you know, uh, leave the last few minutes uh, to you and the floor open so you can tell us a little bit more about the books that you do have out there and uh, and mention your website also for us. Mm. Okay, well, um, my website is, is kalleman.com, uh, which is C-A-L-L-E-M-A-N.com, and uh, I think I should also mention that uh, on that website you may click and you will come to the Mayan calendar portal. And that portal is an assembly of uh, different websites that are, all have an, a related uh, view of, of the Mayan calendar. And these websites uh, are in many different locations in the world and, and um, they have sort of different focus. And there's a lot of other uh, uh, websites that are coming out now that I think are, are um, quite exciting. Um, and um, uh, I should say here one thing, you know, I do recommend the, the Mayan calendar code, which is a, um, Andy and Jag in, in San Diego. And uh, uh, there, I should say, we are just now uh, uh, re- releasing a... Um, DVD set, which was made uh, in a course I had, a, a webinar actually, uh, I think it's five or six different DVDs together, and uh, they are a daykeeper course. Um, in other words, it's, it's a course that uh, is intended uh, to help anybody who, who wants today, as in the modern world, to come and, and uh, um, uh, uh, become like a daykeeper to practice the Mayan calendar on a daily basis and know, uh, learn how to do that. So uh, on, on their website, uh, there is this um, uh, DVD set that you know I want to let you know that's available. Yes. Uh, I should also say that later, I don't know this year, but later will be available through Mayan Magics. Uh, the interview that I did, um, it's another DVD, in the interview that I did with the, uh, the head of the Council of Elders of the Maya, Don Alejandro. And um, this, I, I think, is a very good thing because, you know, it really takes away a lot of the illusions that some people have about what the Mayan calendar is. Mm. And there you can sort of get Are we here for a reason, or we are we here by accident? 
Yes. That's might be it. Yeah. Yes, very interesting. So there are a couple of websites out there that you can take a look at. First, we have Mayan hyphen calendar hyphen code dot com that uh, Carl mentioned. Then we also have Mayan magics.com that's mayan and m a j i x.com mayanmagics.com and then of course of course Carl's main website is kalaman.com that's c a l l e m a n.com do take a look and do check it out if you are interested uh, very interesting you having on the program Carl and thank you very much for coming on this has been a pleasure thank you very much we will be back on Sunday with Eric Phelps, author of Vatican Assassins, to discuss the connection between the Vatican and Islam, the Muslim Brotherhood, Freemasonry, the Knights Templar and the EU, and uh, much more. Also, stop by our forum, RedIceForum.com, discuss the latest program or other issues over there. And don't forget to take advantage of our member section. It's loaded with more radio interviews, articles, videos, short film and our first live broadcast and much more of that is coming. Simply head over to RedIceCreations.com. Click on subscribe and when you sign up you'll get instant access. Thank you very much for listening and my thanks to producer Fredrik Palmgren. We'll talk more on a Sunday. This is Henrik. Take care.